Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to create a realistic forest step by step in Lumion 2023. So the first thing we need to do is open Lumion and import our path scene that we created in SketchUp. The path scene that I'm using is really simple. It is based on two layers, one will be the upper layer and one will be the lower layer. The bottom one will become the grass one and the upper will become the ground one. So you have a nice effect in Lumion for the grass so you have more realism for example for paths. This one will also be on the 3D warehouse of SketchUp for free. Uh, the link to this model will be in the description. So back in Lumion I use for the materials the soil one from Evermotion with the with the bump map. So for the grass, I use the 3D grass material inside Lumion library, and I use the wild grass too in this uh, case. And I have changed up some settings of the grass. So first, we need to find some trees that we are going to use. I use a selection of the pine trees and the spruce trees inside the Lumion library. These also need to be fine detail ones because those are going to be the closest to the camera. That will be step one. So after some placing some trees and rearranging some of them, you will see that we have a lot of trees placed right now. Those are all fine detail and now we are working on the second layer. The second layer will be the normal trees and the normal foliage. That will be step two. The third layer or the third level will be the cluster, the least detail and are the farthest away from the camera. So here we have the top view of our project and as you can see over here is the camera and the field view shows you where the detail needs to be because the closest to the camera we need level 1 and that will be our fine detail. Uh, farther away we don't need that much detail so we can use the normal foliage for that and all the way in the back we are not going to see that and it's only going to fill out the horizon so that will be our level 3 our cluster elements and so as you can see the further away from the camera the less detail it will be so that will help a lot actually by performing issues so after placing the trees the basic foliage changed the grass a little bit because I wasn't liking how it looked. And then I worked on the render settings. I just put in the realistic template and then I changed the real skies to a clear sky with the highest sun. And then I played a little bit with the angle of the sun until I was happy. After that, we are going to add some rocks close to the road on the Quixel Megascans website. Quixel offers a lot of free elements, for example materials, but also some 3D elements that are free to use for all users. To access more of the Quixel Megascans, the only thing you have to do is create an Epic Games account and with that Epic Games account you have to sign in. So if you go to sign in, you can sign in with Epic Games and then you can sign in and have access to a lot of, for example, the 3D elements, but also surfaces, decals, etc. I use the forest rocky ground for one of the elements in this forest rocky ground, the light stone one. I will create a separate video on how to import and set up these materials and elements from the Quixel Megascan website. So now we're replacing all the rocks close to the road and as you can see we have the small ones of the, the more like the pebble one uh, of the mega scans website we I scale them down so those are like, like some small rocks on the bottom of the of the forest floor and then add them to the path to make more get, create more realism but also give it more break up the ground Placing the rocks, I searched on for some birds and added them to the scene. Uh, I wanted to edit them uh, all across the forest floor and I had to scale them down to 0.8 because I found them a little bit too big. I used the two cluster per ones, the, the cluster TR and the cluster 1. Uh, I scattered them around a little bit uh, random so it wasn't looking too repetitive. And then closer to the path, 
uh, I added some uh, fine detail ferns uh, separately. So those will be in the closest to the camera and have a little bit more of realism. And I also did this on the other side of the path. I also added these Texas tree uh, one. And these are like those small trees that I added inside the other trees. So it looks like there is ivy climbing up top of those trees. And I also added those bushes on the side to, uh, fill, up, to fill up the gaps. So the last thing I wanted to do was adding some little details. For example on the ground, most of them. Uh, in this case I have added some grass. I have sped it up so you won't have to see all the time that I place grass. Uh, I have added so scattered some grass around to have a little bit more uh, variation of the grass height uh, instead of only the red 3D grass and I also added some uh, small grass pieces inside of close to the rocks that I have also scattered around. I added some other plants to give it a little bit more variation than only grass. So with the help of the mess placement I made a path along the path in the forest so, and give it a little bit of extension so it was covering the entire path and on that I used uh, pines and some twigs. I used the settings to randomize the objects and that there were enough on the floor so it wasn't overcrowded. I made a few changes to the trees. I selected some of them and gave them a little angle because not all trees are straight in nature so this gives a little bit more realism to the scene. So after we are happy with our scene and how it looks, we can copy everything to the move section of Lumion. Uh, as you can see we have all the settings over here. I only changed the real skies and added through metric sunlight to give those god rays. Select first the photo so we have the position of the camera and then we go to movie and then we're going to record. And I suggest that this is first going to be our test render. So. Uh, we are going to add camera frame, and then we go just a little bit to the front, and then add another one. And I like to make it 5 seconds because it's probably going to be otherwise. Off camera I already did the scene, so uh, those trees on the right and on the left were too close. As you can see in the other test render that I did. Um, so I have moved those further from the path, and I, this is why I suggest to create a test render to see how the camera is moving and what things are in the path or what do you want to change. So after the test render I have noticed something else because I found that the height of the camera is too low because it's too low to the ground. So I added another let's say 30 centimeters and then only I have to do is update the camera and I can go to this scene and do this exact same. So let's just move it 30 centimeters up and then as you can see it's still going straight. We don't have to change all the settings of course because we can just go to the camera. We're going to copy all the effects list and then we will be going to the movie section and then paste all the effects and then as you can see it has the exact same settings as in the photo settings. So we wanted to add three more effects. The first one is going to be the fog effect. Fog density is going to be 0.5. The fog brightness is also going to be 0.5. We're going to change the color to a greenish color. The second one, we are going to add some wind to give a little bit more of life to the scene. We're going to add the wind to, let's say, 20%. And then the last will be the autumn colors to give a little bit more of variation of colors inside of the scene. So let's have the color range go up a little bit and let's have the saturation a little bit more down to 0.9. So you have even out some of the colors and have, give it a little bit more of change. It's not dramatic, but it gives a little bit more of realism. Oh, and make sure to have the target layer to all layers. So after that, we are ready to render the scene. And that's how you created your own realistic forest scene. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment and consider subscribing because that helps me a lot and it also helps me to create new content for this channel. And I hopefully see you in the next video. Bye!